Hi, everybody. My name is Michelle Thomas, and I am a medical intuitive, uh, energy healer, and spiritual advisor with Radiant Living. And today we are doing a live medical intuitive and channeled energy healing session with Marlissa, my lovely, beautiful participant today. Um, and so I'm so happy to have you here. Um, I just know that sometimes it's really a lot easier for me to be able to show people what I do instead of just sort of telling them. So I appreciate you being willing to videotape our session today. Um, uh, so I just want to sort of explain a little bit how the process is going to work today. And then you can kind of tell me a little bit about what might be going on with you or what you'd like me to focus on specifically. So I have already kind of called in Archangel Michael, Raphael, Kuan Yin, and Mother Mary. They're my main four people that I call in. Archangel Michael's there to clear cords. Archangel Raphael's there for healing. Uh, Kuan Yin and Mother Mary all about compassion and self-love. Um, for whatever reason, Isis has also decided to pop in. She uh, doesn't come in all the time, but I always invite whoever Ascended Master or uh, Archangel wants to kind of come in and support or help. So she's here showing her beautiful goddess self. And so I just wanted to let you know that. So I will tune into your chakras first. Uh, I found that about 80% of sort of illness, physical manifestations of um, issues stem from our chakras being out of balance, whether that be corded to beliefs, thought patterns, cords to old childhood trauma, um, whether that be physical, mental, emotional, uh, ancestral, karma, past lives, you name it, it all sits within our chakras. And then I'll move out to your um, structure, your uh, skeletal system. So your bones, your back, all of those things, and then through your vascular and so on and so on. And so uh, half the time when I'm working in a chakra, if there's something that shows up that's physically, that's in that area, I will tell you about it as I'm there, but um, I just sort of have a routine that I go through again because the chakras have so much um, stuff that, that sits there and blocks us from really being able to live a beautiful, amazing life. Um, and so uh, I will do that just to let you know, I'm also, I am not a medical doctor, okay? So that being said, if there's anything that comes up, spirit will tell me to tell you to go see a doctor if there's something that comes up, okay? So just be aware of that. Don't stop any medications, don't do anything, you know, just FYI, don't do any of those things. Um, but again, we're here to really sort of truly help you get back into alignment and to feel better, both physically, mentally, and spiritually, okay? So Marlissa, why don't you just tell me a little bit about what might be going on, if there's anything you have that's concerning you that you want me to make sure that I touch on. Um, again, because I started in the chakras, if there's something that's, you know, you have an injury or if there's, uh, you know, if you're, you have back pain or anything like that, let me know so that I can make sure that I do touch on it before we sort of get to the end of the session. So I always sort of will hit those first. And that's why I'm kind of asking about what uh, might be going on with you. Okay. Well, thanks, Michelle, for having me. I'm so nervous yet excited to be here. No, it's all good. <laughs> uh, I'm new to the whole um, medical intuition uh, world, so it, it, is kind of, it's, it is new to me. I was introduced by my sister, Georgette. So um, I'm new to the whole sh uh, chakra thing. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it, it is, for, for, well, I just came, came out of a, a, a relationship uh, a marriage. So um, the the first half of the year were re was really stressful. However, when uh, we got separated, um, I felt relieved and much happier. Um, but yes, I still feel feel some anxiety, um, and also I my I, I don't fully trust any uh, uh, certain people right now. So. Um, so yes, uh, I think the, and also uh, my career, this is something that I, um, I need help figuring out and also money wise, <laughs> of course. Okay. So, so yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Okay, and that's fine. It's all good. Um, because again, just because you're not, not just because you sort of, uh, and I'm not saying necessarily you, but in general, for people who don't necessarily have a medical condition that they're worried about, doing mm -hmm. this still helps you like let go of a lot of baggage that we all carry around that you don't need to be carrying. Um, I will also mention that, um, you know, there's generally a detox process. So tomorrow you may not feel amazing. 
Um, okay. And because of our physical form, we are a lower um, energy frequency and vibration than spirit. So it usually takes a few days for it to integrate into our bodies. And so by the like Monday, you're going to be like, oh, wow, that's amazing, right? So just know tomorrow, you'll probably be going through a little bit of detox from just okay. getting rid of all of the crap that we're going to probably release today. Um, mm -hmm. And then you're going to start feeling better each day after that. So okay. I always like to sort of prepare people that tomorrow you're going to call me and go, I feel terrible. What did you do to me? <laughs> it's it's okay it's part of the process drink lots of water you'll be fine um nice. all right so i'm gonna choose so i've already called in um my mob squad as i like to call them archangel michael Raphael, kuan yin and mother mary um i've also called in your healer and spirit guides to come in and just help make sure that you know that they're giving me the messages that you need to hear today okay in order for you to be in alignment and to move forward in your life's journey okay so I just ask that you take a really nice deep breath with me so that I can tune in and connect to your energy and be open to whatever comes up. This is not like spirit is not going to give you any scary information, right? Um, the, the stuff that we clear, you may, you know, there may be some emotions attached to those and that's okay. This is an open dialogue. Okay. So I don't want to be talking at you. I will be, but just know that you can give me feedback. You can, we can talk, we can, I can examine and get into something even deeper if there's something that's there that you want me to explore further. Okay. Sure. Okay. So first I'm going to start with your crown chakra. Okay, so spirit is loving all the work that you're doing right now. And I think that we've been talking about this too on a lot of the lives and stuff that I've been doing because you, you've really been working hard to stay connected to spirit and trying to trust the information that you're getting and trust in the universe that they're going to provide for you. Um, you know, and I, they're sort of saying that you're working on like manifestation and law of attraction stuff too a little bit. Um, and they're, they're really happy and they're saying keep going with that right and that okay. because your crown chakra is slowly like opening to sort of its full capacity archangel michael's here and he wants to just remove some um there's a little bit of religious like indoctrination about like trusting your your intuition and it's voodoo magic and there's so they're just letting and it it both ties to your crown chakra and your third eye chakra and it's just this little nagging like voice in the back of your head and it feels like it comes from your childhood where it's sort of like that you know the 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 preacher is like, oh, that's, you're going to go to hell if you do that, right? <laughs> oh, those psychics are crazy. They're bananas, right? And just so you know, again, the people that I've called in, I mean, three out of the four people are part of the Christian hierarchy. So it's not being dangerous. So I always sort of laugh when, especially, you know, our Christian beliefs are like, oh, don't connect. That's bad. And I'm like, I'm only calling in the people that you right. pray to so just know that you're it's a safe it's safe for you to do so and you need to believe that okay because it is right and always whenever you're uh opening yourself up to intuition make sure you're always asking for your highest and greatest good to ensure that there's no dark light coming in and the thing is is that as you work on raising your vibration it's not going to happen anyways right you're vib you're vibrating way up here versus like Mm -hmm. low and that's where the dark energy lives so we never work in dark energy just fyi but so so archangel michael has he's collecting all of these sort of cords to again these childhood beliefs and things that you don't need to believe anymore um <clears throat> he's he's they're helping you get rid of the fear there's sort of a little bit of fear of connecting to your third eye so we're kind of now we're doing both to be for whatever reason they're we're doing both your third eye and your crown chakra at the same time because there's a lot of things that are in, intermingled with each other. Um, but there's a lot of fear that is living uh, uh, on sort of like, you're kind of afraid to tap in and see what spirit's gonna tell you. So they're trying to, they're, they're removing that block and removing those cords to, to the, the root cause of that fear. Um, and it feels like that you experienced something when you were a kid that scared you and you were like, nope, I'm out, right? And so, and that can be anything. And half the time it happens when we don't even remember it. It's like that three or four years old where mm -hmm. you don't even know it. Um, but it's sort of like, uh, it's, and I don't want to say you saw a ghost, but it's sort of like that kind of thing where you just like, you know, you saw a grandmother or something or you just, like, they started talking to you and you were just like, whoa, I don't know what this is. I'm, and so they're letting go of that fear, okay? Because it's safe and it's okay. And the information that they're giving to you, they're not going to give it to you in a giant like 
fire hose, right? So as you work on opening up your intuition, it's going, it's a muscle, it's slowly growing um, because they have a lot of stuff they wanna send to you, but they know that you'd be completely overwhelmed right now. So keep working, keep doing the practice, keep meditating because you're opening it up, right? And they're not, they're not speeding up that opening process because again, they're just like, we are trying to not feed her like a fire hose. We're, 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 it's the garden hose right now. Okay. So as you work, it's going to expand and you're going to be able to trust the information that you get even more. Okay. All right. So they've cleared those blocks. It's spinning at the right speed that it needs to be spinning for you, if that makes sense. Okay. So they're not speeding it up any. They're just saying, keep working at it because it's slowly growing and changing and allowing you to expand at the rate that you need to expand, okay, right, in your human form, right? Okay. okay. So we're going to move down to your throat chakra. So your throat chakra is where speaking up, being authentic, being truthful, and it feels like that your spouse potentially, like, kind of, like, talked over you and, and sort of silenced you, and whether that was conscious or unconscious, it doesn't matter. It still happened, right? And so oftentimes, you know, we want to, you go into a relationship wanting to, to make the other person happy. And sometimes that means muting yourself, right? And not giving your opinion because you don't want to start a fight or you don't want to hear what they're, you know what they're going to say before they even say it. So they're removing that cord, okay? Because you, you're here to have a voice. You're here to shine your light. Okay, you're not here to be silenced. So they're removing the cord, especially to that marriage um, and how he chose to speak to you and how you chose to not speak up for yourself all the time. And it feels like you're slowly getting back into owning your voice. Okay, but know that you need to do it more, right? Because when you block your throat, you block your thyroid, you end up like, you know, manifesting other things. So make sure you're using your voice and showing up authentically. They're saying that you need to also take down the mask a little bit, right? And I know that you're having some trust and some vulnerability issues right now, especially, you know, again, I'm divorced. I get it. I understand, right? <laughs> but they're saying that you need to show up exactly as Marlissa needs to show up. It's time to take the mask off, okay? Because it doesn't matter what his opinion is anymore. Right. It doesn't matter who anybody, like, it doesn't matter. Their opinions don't matter. Your, your opinion matters on how you show up, okay? So you need to show up exactly as Marlissa shows up. Not anything less, okay? Not anything more, exactly <laughs> as you are right now, okay? And we're all perfectly imperfect. And I said that in my meditation earlier this week, okay? Know that. Love yourself exactly as you are, right? Because you're here to shine your light. And you are. Like, I, as sort of, and I get this sort of timid vibe off of you that you're sort of like, hmm, I'm not really ready. And they're sort of saying that you need to start taking bolder steps forward to not so much being shy and being timid is not a bad thing, just so you know, it's not. And you don't, you can shine your light while still remaining. And like, they're sort of saying me like you're the introvert. You're sort of like, just just know it's okay. You can still be you exactly as you are and mm -hmm. still shine your light brightly for others to see. Okay. okay. So, so they're releasing some cords to your childhood as well. And it feels like, you know, that um, just things around being seen and not heard and just, they're releasing some of that crap. Right. And, yes. and a lot of it, like I said, it feels like, I don't know why it feels like grandmother energy for whatever reason like I don't know if your grandmother was like sit down child like you need to like be quiet and it feels like in a church setting almost and I don't know you I don't know your religion I don't know any of that but they're sort of just showing me like that there's like this matriarchal figure like in the pew and like snapping her fingers at you like this is not the time to be talking and again Spirit comes through me and I give weird like references and I start talking weird and I do some neck swivels and stuff. Just know it's, I'm not being disrespectful to you. I'm just, spirit just sort of gives me stuff that you might relate to. That's all. Okay. So, um, all right. So they're sort of getting rid of those blocks to sort of standing up for yourself and not 
allowing yourself to be visible exactly as you are. Um, I don't know if you have a lot of siblings or not, but it, they're sort of showing me like that you're the quiet one and that you kind of just were like, um, I'm just gonna hang out here because the loud ones get in trouble a lot and I won't. So if by being back here and like in the back row, just being quiet and being my beautiful self, like I'm good, right? And so it just sort of feels like a lot of other people in your family, like were the spotlight and that they were the ones that were like, the wild they're sort of like the wild kids in the bunch and so just, so just know that it's okay for you to use your voice and to be seen and that um sometimes you have to use it in order to get above the the noise of the people right. around you right so okay. you have to speak up and you it's not now is the time to not be silent is sort of what they're saying right and again okay. you don't have to be negative about it you don't have to shout right sometimes yeah. a whisper is more powerful than a shout Right, because when you whisper, people have to go, what, what did you just say? <laughs> right, and so sometimes, and, and, and that's what I'm saying of the, the power of, but you have to state what you want, what you expect, what you deserve, right? Okay. And you need to own it, right? So you cannot let someone else dictate what you deserve or what they think you're worth. And they're making me sure that you, you understand that, <laughs> the difference, yeah. okay? Because there's a difference. <laughs> So it's exactly what you want out of life, what you want and, and know deep down in your heart that you deserve because you deserve better than what you've been allowing yourself to have, right? Yes. You deserve to have an amazing man who treats you like a queen. You do. <laughs> and you know this, right? I do. <laughs> okay. All right. Just making sure you understand that because you do. All right. All right, so Archangel Raphael's come in and he's just put this little Chris, uh, this little uh, citrine like crystal right in your throat chakra, which is a little yellow crystal. Um, and I don't know why it's important for like, he's just saying like, we're putting this in there to support your voice and to, to stand up for what you want. Okay, so and again, usually he puts some other crystal in there, but for, t for you, it's citrine. So uh, just be aware that it's standing up for yourself, shining your light and owning who you are and what you expect out of life because only you can dictate that, nobody else. Okay, we're gonna move down to your heart chakra. <sighs> okay, all right, there's a lot of, um, so after your divorce, it feels like you've kind of put up this half wall. Like it's not truly like built all the way up like a wall of vulnerability. Like it, you're, you've put it up as a fortress to keep yourself from getting hurt again, right? And so you're, you're avoiding like being vulnerable because you don't want to be hurt again, right? We all go through this, right? But it's not completely built yet, which makes it easier to knock down, okay? <laughs> so, 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 and again, they, they show me the random, most random things. So they're taking your wall down is basically, they're just like, you don't need to do this. Deep in your heart and in your gut, you know exactly who you can trust. You know exactly where you need to go, you know, you know, right? And mm -hmm. the thing is, is that if you sit down and are quiet about it, you know who your people are. You know the people who you're just like, oh, hell no. I'm not telling you a thing because I know that it's going to end up all over right. town, right? <laughs> so listen to that voice because you don't need to wear a wall around your heart mm -hmm. to be able to hear that, okay? okay? So they're taking that down because you deserve to be loved authentically. And you, you're worthy of so much more than what you think you are, okay? And our brain is very powerful when it comes to how we manifest things, right? And knowing that we're worthy of more and believing that we're worthy of more. So Kuan Yin and Mother Mary are both here sort of holding a powwow. And actually Isis has popped in too and she's just like, all right, so I'm gonna say this, but again, they're saying it, I'm not just just so she so isis wants you to know you're a goddamn nubian princess fucking own it <laughs> so i again she's saying this not me but she wants you to stand in your divinity and in your royalty okay because you are a divine queen you are here to shine your light right and it's a subtle light, right? It's not a, I'm out marching down the road, raising my freak flag everywhere. 
it's right. a subtle energy for you and that's okay it's amazing you can still do that right you don't have to go marching down the street in like purple colored underwear going look at me you don't <laughs> you can still shine your light amazingly okay and they want you to know that okay so <sighs> All right, so there, so Archangel Michael is here and he is like, he's pulling out the talons of this cord that is, lives in your marriage, your, you know, your previous marriage. Mm -hmm. He's pulling it out because it, it feels like you, sir, you came out of that marriage feeling like you weren't worthy of love and that you had to, the things that you had to give up in order to receive love, right? that you were like basically a stripped down car. Like by the time you were able to say, like it sort of feels like you're this stripped down car and you showed up this way because that's what you thought that that person wanted you to look like, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not, you're the freaking Rolls Royce. You don't need to be a stripped down car, <laughs> you don't. So, okay, so they're taking that cord out and gently removing it, right? Because there's a lot of wounds that live in your heart chakra, right? Around self-worth and being enough and, and owning who you are right now. Okay. They're going to make me cry. Damn it. So, okay. They want you to know that, again, you are divine. You literally come to this earth, right? As a beautiful divine soul. And so the, the, the more you see yourself, as a divine soul who's come here to live a human experience, the more you're going to grow and learn and change and stand up with your shoulders back and own who you are. Okay. Okay. They're showing me some chords as well that go back into childhood um, regarding, again, love and worth and being enough. And they're releasing that, those chords and letting that stuff go because, um, you don't need it. It's not who you are anymore. You're an adult. You don't need these beliefs still sitting in the back of your head about, uh, again, and they're just, it's really about showing up who you are, right? Again, they're sort of really showing me that you've been wearing a mask for a long time, showing up as you think people want you to be, okay? okay? And you don't, you, you just need to be you exactly as you are. So they're, they're really urging you to take the masks off right? And your life is going to get infinitely better because when you're not wearing a mask, everyone can see you and they're drawn to your light. The right people will be drawn to your light, okay? They are saying you need to be very careful about energy vampires sucking the life out of you, right? So people who are drawn to your light and want to pull it out of you, right? Because people who are lower vibrational people, people who are negative, mm -hmm. People who are, it's that energy, the people who are the negative Nancy's in life who nothing, either they play the victim and they see your light and they want it from you because they don't have their own, right? They don't have a light to live by, so they are sucking yours out. And when you feel that, you need to be immediately aware of it and imagine yourself with a force field around yourself or putting on a suit of armor and being like, no. And okay. And they just went, Bitch, no, you can't have my power, okay? Okay. So just know that, okay? I can't make this shit up, people. Um, so, so just be aware. Put your damn armor on and be like, no, this is my power. Get your own, right? Um, beautiful, bright, shiny lights attract moths, right? Yes. So don't let the moths like suck it out all the life out of you, okay? Because it, it's your light. You've worked hard for it. You're keeping working hard on it, raising that vibration. Keep doing it. Tell everybody else to just suck it, okay? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay, so they're showing me there's some like mother energy there. There's some kind of negative mother energy. So they're, they're just sort of removing the negativity there and just knowing that like, you're an adult and you don't need to sort of live by this expectation that it feels like your mother had of you. Um, you they're like, let it go, right? You, again, be who you are. You don't need to get, again, it feels like mother energy. So it feels like you don't need to try and be who your mom wants you to be. You can be who you want to be, right? You're an adult, right? Yeah. You don't need to try and impress her, her opinion. I mean, while we're all children, we all get it. We all want our mother's approval for the most part. Just know you don't need it, right? So if she's 
being a negative force in your life, like just, you know what, stick to topics that are not, you know, divisive for you and mm -hmm. go on with your day. Right. But just know that they're clearing that energy of that. Again, it feels like you just want that approval. Like you've been sort of like put in this box. You don't need to be in the box. Like get out of the box. Right. Mm -hmm. You're bigger than the box is that, that they shoved you in. Okay. You can be more than that. So you know, taking all of that out. They're make they're spinning your heart chakra more and more. Again, just making it faster. Uh, Kuan Yin and Mother Mary are here and they're surrounding your heart chakra with this beautiful pink light, all about self-love, self-care, self-worth, self-belief, right? Excuse me. Ooh, I just released. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, because it feels like you haven't been able to believe in yourself for a long time. Okay, you, you've really been very hard on yourself and they want you to know that you need to give yourself grace and compassion and love just as much as you need to give it to other people. Okay, so don't reserve it for others. You need to show it to yourself as well. You need to forgive yourself for making mistakes. You need to stop holding the shame and the anger and the frustration, especially over again, because this is so new, this relationship ending, that's really where your frequency is right now. And they're saying like, forgive yourself for being there, right? Remember that it is a journey. We're here to experience and grow from things. And that without that journey, you would not be where you are right now, right? So take the things that you learned from that relationship. Take the things that you've learned and grown about yourself, right? Own that, right? Because you would not be where you are without it, right? And it's the past. There's nothing you can do to change it right? You are where you are. And if you had chosen a different path, you wouldn't be where you are right now. Okay. And we can't go back. So you might as well be where you are and take the steps to go forward to make your life even better. So stop living in this past belief of self, this negative like belief about yourself and, oh, and feeling shameful and angry and um, like that you're not, you're, you're not worthy enough to have the beautiful, amazing, relationship that you know you deserve deep down in your heart okay so they're letting all that stuff go Whew, okay <clears> okay <throat> hey. all right okay we're moving down to your solar plexus um archangel michael is sort of sitting here like girl you got a lot of cords around your confidence and like your power. Like you, like he's just, he's kind of, so Archangel Michael often shows up as a very serious angel. For me, he shows up either as super gentle, like especially when someone needs a lot of nurturing with removing mm -hmm. of those cords and that protection. But often he shows up gleefully like, I am taking these goddamn cords away from you because you don't need them anymore. He is at least right now where your solar plexus is, is gleefully taking all of your cords right now because he's like, girl, stop giving your power away. Stop letting other people walk all over you. Again, our throat chakra and our solar plexus chakra have so much in common when it comes to not speaking up for ourselves and letting others sort of take our power away because we're not willing to stand up for ourselves and owning our confidence and owning who we are. Okay. So he's taking all of that junk and putting it in this satchel and it's all dissolving into like golden dust, right? Because again, you know who you are inherently. You know what you believe in. You have amazing values, right? You're a person of character. You're a person of worth, right? It's time to show that and to own that beautiful light that you have, okay? okay? Believe in yourself, right? Spirit's just like, oh my God, if she could only see herself in the mirror that we have, right? So I don't know if you ever read Harry Potter. I don't know. They're showing me like that Harry Potter mirror where he's like wishing to talk to somebody and it's his like parents. Anyhow, random thing. So, but just, it, they're just sort of showing me like, if you could just see yourself as we see you, you would see yourself as the queen that we see you as to be. Okay. So. Um, all right. So. They're really spinning this one. Like this one. It, and, and Archangel Rafa is pulling all of this stagnant energy from there because it feels like you've been a doormat like your whole life, 
<laughs> like you've allowed your brothers and sisters again i don't know you how many i don't know who you have in your family but it feels like you've let your siblings you've let your cousins you've let your parents you let your teacher like you've let literally like anybody who wanted to walk all over you you just kind of went well okay don't <laughs> you, you, you. they're just they're taking all of this crap that people have done to you, right? That have walked all over you, that you've allowed, right? And they're also saying that you really need to forgive yourself for allowing it, right? Because again, it's the past and it was your journey to get here, but now is the time to, to refuse to allow others to treat you the way that they have in the past, right? Okay. Set some boundaries. I'm like, no, that is unacceptable now. This is the new me. I am not accepting that as a behavior. Right. And the more you set boundaries, the more people will respect them. Yeah. Okay. So put, put up some boundaries, girl, because you need to stop being the doormat and allowing people to walk all over you. Right. So use your voice, stand up for yourself, be the proud, beautiful person that you are. And because you are, you're a beautiful light in this world. Again, the, what they're showing me, like, again, if you could see how they're showing me you, is the, the beautiful character and values and love that you have for people, you're the kindest soul there is. And again, when we're so kind, we often, again, let others take advantage of us, right? Yeah. So use your kindness as a shield. Put up some boundaries and be like, no. I am kind, but I still deserve to be respected. I still deserve to be, you know, treated with dignity, right? So make sure that you do. And they're like, and I don't know if your ex is even still communicating with you or not, but like boundaries. Okay. If not boundaries, yeah. <laughs> just serious <laughs> boundaries. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so they're pulling cords from like, past like there's past live stuff here too that they're getting rid of it's again this it's sort of this repeating pattern it's ancestral like all this this power stuff is okay it goes way back it goes there's there's like childhood stuff there's teenage stuff there's college stuff like you name it like there's stuff from like every age so that he's taking all of it um and we could sit here for like an hour just talking about all the stuff so he's he so archangel michael's like we don't have time to get into all the stuff so we're he's taking just know he's taking it and removing it from you it's not tied to you but the homework for you around that is to again truly set the boundaries that you need and yet you deserve okay so if there's people in your life who do not treat you with the respect that you deserve set a boundary. No, I'm not, that is unacceptable to me anymore. No, right? Use your voice and say no to the people who you've said yes to in the past that you're regretting. Okay. okay. So let that shit go. Okay. And the full moon is tomorrow. Amazing time to let all this crap go. Okay. So, and I will send you this recording when we're done as well. So you can watch it, take some notes, meditate a little bit, figure out what you need to let go of mentally, okay. right? Because while I can remove it energetically, if you're still thinking about it, like it grows back, right? All this, everything comes back. Okay. We don't want that. So okay. let it all go. Let it all go. And I won't sing like I did last night. So. <laughs> okay. So solar plexus chakra. All right. <sighs> okay. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's living in here right now. There's lots of stagnant energy, um, lots of cords and beliefs about what it means to be a woman, what it means to wh what it's what you're supposed to look like, how you're supposed to act, how you're supposed to dress. All of this stuff that, again, it feels like from childhood and teenage years that just is sitting here and weighing on you that you don't necessarily believe as a woman. Now at this, at the age that you're at, but it still just sits there, right? And it's these old nagging thoughts and beliefs that sort of like, when you look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I wish I was prettier, or I wish I was 10 pounds lighter, or I wish my hips weren't so big, whatever goes through your head, right? They're just like, you need to stop, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, need to, you need to imagine yourself as the beautiful, like divine feminine that you are. 
whatever that meaning means for you, right? Because society tells women to be a certain way, right? There's so many, like so much crap out there that we believe because that's sort of what we've grown up to, right? It's the magazines, it's the TV, it's whatever. They're letting all that crap go. Archangel um, Raphael's like literally like hoovering out all this like old stagnant energy from your sacral chakra because it feels like you've been blocked. You've been uninspired, right? You've, you're sort of sitting here going, I don't know what to do next, right? I, I'm not inspired to move forward, right? And so they're clearing all of that so that your creative energy, the energy to give birth to something new, something inspiring, it's going to come out right on what your next step is because it feels like you're sort of sitting at this fork in the road looking at it going I don't know where to go I don't know whether I should go left or right and you're feeling stuck and in limbo and this is going to help clear out some of the uh, uncertainty right so <clears throat> So know that like in the next few days, all of a sudden you're going to get bing, an inspirational and go with it. Just even if it's crazy and wacky, like you don't have to take it very far, but right. it just helps get that muscle moving again, right? That creativity going um, because it, it just feels like you've been sitting, not being inspired to do anything. Um, and it's just sitting there and it's weighing you down and it, you don't need to be weighed down by it anymore. Okay. So okay. They're, they're getting rid of all that crap. All right, so they're getting rid of some cords from teenage, like from uh, like, and I always say it's sort of like being slut shamed when you're like in high school and stuff. And whether or not they use the term slut or whatever, that's just the easiest term for me to explain stuff that lives there. It's the people that have, that developed early in elementary school and people are like, she has boobs. Like it's all <laughs> that dumb stuff that sits there. They're just clearing all that away because it, it doesn't matter. You don't, it, you know, the dumb bullies and people that talked crap about you in high school and whatever, it's gone. Just, you don't need to carry it around with you. Um, okay, so from a reproductive standpoint, like they're just clearing out some energy. They're sort of clearing everything out because it feels like it's been not working well like your cycles and stuff have been kind of just a little bit funky lately or in the last six months or so, they're just like getting, again, everything all re reworked sort of, if you will. Um, Archangel Raphael always, for every woman I work with, he puts carnelian in our ovaries, even if we don't technically have an ovary anymore, but he puts carnelian in there as a way to support our hormone health, okay? As well as to support our creativity. Carnelian is a, is a stone of creativity. So he's putting it there as a way to uh, reduce any kind of like issues that we're having with our hormones, but also to inspire and to move that creativity into a, 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 a and that creativity is where we start manifesting things. It's our visualization. It's all of that. So if you feel like you're not manifesting enough, part of it is, is that you're not being inspired. You're not visualizing. You're not doing all of those things in order to bring it about. Okay. So um, and just so, and everybody who might be listening to this, like women who, we come into this lifetime as a female, which means that we are required to sort of go through the feminine experiments, experience, which also includes menopause. So know that this carnelian supports all of that as well, because while we have to go through menopause because it's a human experience, he can at least help reduce some of the like side effects that happen. Not that you're anywhere near menopause because you're not, but I just had <laughs> to say that for people who might be listening. So, okay. All right. <clears throat> So for whatever reason, Kuan Yin and Mother Mary and Isis are all like literally like hugging your womb right now. They're just like, they just want you to like own who you are as a woman exactly as you are as a woman. Like that's all. They're just loving and supporting on you right now um, because they're just like, she needs to stop thinking she needs to be different. So you can let that go. Okay. <sighs> All right, root chakra. Okay, so again, this is where we do our manif This is where we manifest things. This is where we feel stable, secure. Um, it's also, there's a lot of um, ancestral money beliefs and money blocks 
that um, is along your ancestral line that that you've grown up like your grandparents believed it and your parents believed it and you believe it. So they're they're, they're untangling all that and letting it go because you don't need to keep this cycle of right. like it's this like poverty cycle. It's sort of like well my grandparents only did this so I'm like it's sort of like you don't expect yourself to do any better than the person before you if that makes sense. And they're just like no like you can be amazing. You can be a millionaire. You don't have to like live by whatever they thought that their limitation was like, well, uh, you know, okay. So again, sometimes they tell me stuff and I'm just trying to think about how to say it in a way that won't, I don't know. Anyway. So they're sort of showing me like, well, you know, I'm, uh, and not you, but they're sort of like ancestrally, they're like, well, I'm a poor black person from the, from the south or wherever it is like they're just sort of showing me like that there's this like stigma of like well this is all that I can be because this is so there's a little bit of like a victim thing that has happened in your ancestral line so they're letting all that go too because they're just like no like you don't need to believe that that like that you have to work hard and that you can only make you can only be so far that there's a ceiling on how high you can get no there's not like and is it challenging for women of color absolutely right? They get that, but know that you don't have to, there's no ceiling. The ceiling is self-imposed, okay? okay? All right. Okay, so, so they're getting rid of all of that old, these old belief patterns. You also have some past lives where you've had money taken away from you, like you, you've sort of started making money and then it's been like, it's ta been taken away from you. And so you have this, it feels like this repeating pattern of, oh, you just sort of start making good money, you start, and then like something happens. Like it's sort of this repeating pattern of, oh my gosh, I just got an amazing tax refund and suddenly like, oh, well now my, so this happened to me this year was, oh, well my fence just blew over. Oh, great. Awesome. And then, oh, well, my house needs painting. I got a thing from the HOA. So just know, like, they're getting rid of that too. This experience okay. where I have this money and it's immediately taken away from me. Okay. So if that's a pattern in your life, they're trying to, <laughs> okay. okay. Cause you don't need it. Um, Cause you have the power to truly like manifest amazing things into your life. You just have to be really positive and clear about what it is that you want. Okay. Oof. I just got a release. Okay. Um, know that, um, shoot, my brain just like, it just totally like shut off there for a second. So, uh, anyways, I don't, I'll get back there. I'm sure it'll come back to me. <sighs> um, okay. Um, so actually they want me to go back up to, to your sick, uh, to your solar plexus and just, cause we were, uh, they wanted me to mention, like, I don't know if you, uh, drink or eat dairy. Um, but they're just saying like, it's your digestion doesn't really love it. And so just be aware of how much you eat because okay. you're going to feel a lot better taking a lot of it out of your diet. Um, okay. So just be like, and they're saying like, specifically like cheese, like they're just like, you need to slow your roll on cheese. I bit. love cheese. <laughs> okay. So um, they're just sort of, again, just maybe eat a little less. That's all. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, uh, water, obviously we all need to drink way more water, um, and make sure it's really good water. Um, like that, I don't know where you live to be honest, but just be aware of the quality of the water. So if it's, don't drink the tap water, if the tap water's crap kind of thing, like make sure you have a good filter and that kind of thing, because, um, that can affect you as well, but you need to make sure you're getting way more hydrated than you are. Um, okay. <sighs> Okay. So they're just, they're really sort of making sure that your feet feel settled, right? And they're, they're sort of removing these, this feeling that you had and this belief that you've been unstable for a while, right? And that uh -huh. you're, you're on unsteady ground. And so they're trying to sort of smooth out the ground before you and making you feel really grounded and going outside and walking every day, even if it's only for five or 10 minutes is going to help you just move the energy there as well to make sure that you're feeling secure. Um, they're saying to really trust the universe though, right? Is that if you believe obviously that, well, I'm not going to get like, I really want that job, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Guess right. what? Do you think you're going to get the job? No. Right. So they're saying trust, right? And it's really hard 
And I'm not freezing, am I? Am I freezing? No, oh. that thing. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Last night I had a session with someone and I had so many uh, spirits here like that were talking to the person. Like my Wi-Fi went completely out for like oh, it just shut, everything shut down and I was like, okay, Jesus and Mary and all the people who are here, can you cut it out? Leave my electronics <laughs> alone. So I just wanted to double check because that happened to me last night. Okay. So, um, so just know that like moving and being aware of like your body is going to just, again, help you move forward, but you have to stay positive. You have to keep trusting that the universe is supporting you. You have to know that it does, right? Because as soon as doubt sits in your brain, like it's gone, okay. right? So whatever struggles you're going to, they're saying, give it to God, right? Give it to God and trust that they have your back and that um, it's sort of that I have the last $10 in my pocket and suddenly ding, spirit <laughs> shows up for you, right? So just know it's gonna happen let go of the why, let go of the how, and just go, I just know, I trust, I'm done. Okay, I'm done worrying about this because it's going to happen. Okay. Okay, so own that feeling, right? Okay, so we're going to move to your skeletal system. Um, okay, so they're showing me you carry a lot of tension in the back of your neck and the, your shoulders, and um, like that it's like some of it's just tension. You like sit like this. Yeah, I do. Okay, so uh, so they're, they're released. They're kind of like giving you this like spiritual massage right now. That's just like loosening all those muscles, but they're saying, be aware, like make sure you're sitting with your shoulders down. And then if you start to feel tense, like take three really deep breaths and on the exhale, just be like, oh. okay. And let it go. Right. Because stress and worry does not help anyone. Right. You can only do as much as you can in a day. So let that stuff go. Um, all right. Let me look at your spine. They're just saying, again, watch your posture when you're walking, when you're sitting. Um, we, uh, for whatever reason, they're sort of making me feel like when you walk, you kind of walk like with a little bit of a hunch. Like, it's almost like you don't want to be seen, right? It's that, mm, I, here I am, stand tall, right? Because when you hunch, like it just, it's, it puts everything out of alignment. Um, um, okay. So they're putting this like golden rod of, of light through your whole spinal spinal cord, just helping you skip into alignment and making sure that your like posture is good um, and that everything is in alignment. Um, it feels like your hips are a little bit off, um, like you carry a heavy bag on one side. So just be aware of how heavy the bag that you carry is because it's throwing you off and I'm leaning to the right. So I don't know if you carry it to your right side, but that's sort of how it feels is like you carry a bag on your right side. So they're just shifting your hips. They're shifting and making sure that like all of the bones in your legs and your hips and your back are all back to alignment. Um, <clears throat> And then they're supporting all of your um, your uh, vertebrae with a cushion. They put cushion in between all of your vertebrae just to support the uh, the weight and walking around and just making sure that it has the movement that it needs to have. <sighs> they're showing me there's no injuries or anything there. Um, th so that's good. They're saying like, if your knee is bothering you, uh, pay attention because it means that you're stuck and you're not moving forward. Oh, so, and again, so f for whatever reason, they're making my right knee hurt. So if your right knee is bothering you, like pay attention to the thing that you're avoiding doing. Okay. okay? If there's something that you're like humming and hawing about, it's time to step forward, right? Because it's, it's you not stepping forward and taking the next step. So mm -hmm. when it shows up like that, it's really about stagnation and being afraid to move forward. So you need to okay. sit with that and figure out what decision or where you need to go because it's time. Okay. So when your knee is bothering you and there's no injury or anything, mm -hmm. pay attention to that. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> but know that there's support, like the, Archangel Raphael's put in like a whole bunch of like healing gel and stuff to help soothe the, the kind of abrasion. It feels like abrasiveness beneath your kneecap. So just know that he's, he's putting some gel in there. That's going to help support that as well. Um, but pay attention to it when it comes up for you that, and it, it goes for many people. Like when our knees have, when we have issues with our knees for no real apparent reason, pay attention to what you're avoiding because chances are you need to choose and step forward. 
Um, okay. All right, let's see. Um, your heart looks good. Lungs look good. Yeah, your blood pressure is looking good. Um, wow, uh, just pay attention to the foods that you're eating and your cholesterol, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, just be aware because, uh, yeah, because now is the time to like fix that, right? Yeah. It's not bad yet, but it's creeping up there a little bit. So just pay attention, okay? Uh, Spirit doesn't want you on any medication. So if you could help it. So just okay. be aware um, that, you know, you're, again, just try and, and eat the good cholesterol, the good food, the good okay. fat or whatever, so that your right. cholesterol stays down. Um, and it feels like it's a hereditary thing, sort of. It's kind of like, yeah. So just be aware of that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so uh, pay attention to your, when your eyes, like your prescription. So it feels like you might need a stronger prescription soon as well. So just, just pay attention. Like if you start getting headaches or your eyes get tired really fast, like just have them checked out. That's all. They're saying that it, it's that, that part of it's just like your, I don't know what you do for work or whatever, but it feels like you spend a lot of time in front of a computer. And so just be aware that that's really straining um, and just take care of your eyes as well. Okay. Um, so for whatever, this is a first for me. So they're, um, they're actually wrapping your whole body in like this, like golden, like bandage kind of thing, but it's like, a, it's for your skin. They're saying like that your skin needs some healing. Like, I don't know if you have any kind of like dryness or something like they're just supporting your skin for whatever reason. Again, this is a first for me. This is, they've never done this for anybody else, but that's okay. Uh, again, it's sort of like they're just helping soothe your skin and make sure that it's like, you know, all the, everything's working as well and that they're reducing any kind of inflammation that you might have in your skin from, you know, and it can be environmental thing. It can be all sorts of things. So just know that they've, they've taken care of that for you as well. Um, okay. They're, they're showing me that it feels kind of complete. I want to double check with you though and see if there's anything else you want me to touch on before we move on. One thing I forgot to mention is I do, I've had fibroid for a long time. Um, uh, I'm not sure how they are right now. I remember for my pregnancy, um, you, usually fibroid you either grow or stays the same mm -hmm. uh, during pregnancy, but I haven't had any. Um, I haven't had lately? Yes, yeah, so. So it feels like there's the same right now. And mm -hmm. I, and, and when I was working in your sacral chakra that, that I couldn't really put my finger on what, what it was, but it doesn't feel like they're growing. Um, okay. If anything, like the stuff that the stuff, the carnelian that Archangel Raphael put in there is going to help even minimize, like just help them like mm -hmm. not necessarily go away, but shrink. Right. And, okay. and, and make sure that they don't affect you. And so I think that when I was saying that, um, your that reproductive area wasn't working super okay. well like that that was where they were headed but um yeah it doesn't feel like they're they're ne it doesn't feel like they've grown um and that this is going to help support it so that it doesn't get any worse um mm -hmm. and that um yeah they're just clearing it all out so uh the next time you do go get checked but it shouldn't be bothering you in any capacity is what okay. they're saying. So it's, um, but also removing all the stagnant energy is going to help support that as well. All the stuff that we just did. Okay. okay. Thank you for sharing that though. Um, okay. <sighs> okay. So they are encircling you in a beautiful bubble of golden light. And this helps support the healing that we did to integrate further into your body. The little bubble, this golden bubble of light kind of dissolves over time as your body has integrated all of the healing that we've done today. Um, know that you need to, again, drink a lot of water today so that tomorrow, like, you can pee all the detox out. Just let it okay. all go, okay? Because you don't need it. Um, yeah, okay. So they're, they're saying, like, that, that it feels really complete. Um, 
Yeah. So hopefully you start feeling better. Again, it's not like you were injured. There's nothing like, you know, majorly wrong. I don't, that's mm -hmm. not the right word for it, but just know that it's going to take some time to integrate, but be aware of your thoughts, be aware of the stuff that's coming up for the next few days as well, because it feels like that they want you to really release a lot of stuff coming up in the next couple of days with, again, this full moon is going to help you do it. Journal about stuff that's come up. Like if you rewatch the, the replay of this, like just pay attention to, you know, and, and if there's something that you're like, Ooh, I should probably write about that, write it down and let it go. Right. Okay. Okay.